Yo, so what's up everyone? Um, Lizzy Beach here, and I thought that today we could make a trap melody. Um, so, you know, let's get to it. But before we get to it, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, I'm just going to give you, I'm going to give you five seconds to do that. Oh, done? Cool. <laughs> I'm trying to get to 10 subscribers, so if you could help me out, that would be truly appreciated. So, uh, first things first, um... I've got this uh, channel here opened up on the channel rack where there's... Oh, sorry. I forgot to float to the top. Okay, I've got this channel here uh, opened up where there's nothing but the channel rack. Um, on the channel rack where there's nothing but the sampler. Well, how I did this was I went to file, new from template, and just I just chose empty. I don't like it when... I like it when the sampler is there alone because from there we can, like, you know, draw in our... Um, put our notes, our ghost notes for, for our melody and whatnot. So what we're going to do is we're going to press this timestamp. Choose man and natural Eolian. And we're going to put it at C. Then we're going to press Shift, left click, put it at C again. Shift, left click, then put it at C again. And I went to this, um, I went to the piano roll by clicking this piano, by clicking this piano roll button. It's the second button after the playlist button. So now, now that we've done that, we're going to go to the fourth, after the fourth, uh, after the fourth timestamp. And we're going to press Command O to elongate everything, just to make it longer. And from here, we're going to go, uh, okay, we're going to go back into the channel rack by clicking this button. It's the one after the piano roll button. And then we're going to press the plus sign, go to FL keys. And then we're going to go click this button right here, this arrow. Go to presets and go to dark piano. Since we're making a dark piano melody, dark, a dark, a dark melody today. Now, um, I'm going to start with, okay, sorry. Let me just mess with audio settings a little bit. And then I'll put it at full volume so that you can, you can hear what's going on. So I'm going to start with D-sharp, uh, then probably go down to C, then go to G, and then go to D. Let's see how this one. Okay, then I'm going to press Command B to shift it over to the next part. Okay, um, so now I'm thinking we can just add a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of variation at the second part. But I press Command B to shift everything over. And uh, if you're using PC, just press Control O B. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put G here, then put C up here. Then we're gonna put uh, G here, put C up here. And then uh, I'm thinking we can add a little bit of variation by shooting this note right here, putting in a D sharp, then putting in a D. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay. Honestly, that second part sounds horrible. <laughs> no, honestly, I, don't, I do not like the way it sounds. Yeah, so um, I'm thinking what we can do is we'll just do that, uh, shift this over. Uh, and then from here, what we can do is we can just let it go to D sharp. Then let it go to C. And, uh, you know, let it go to G. Maybe that'll sound better. I like how that sounds. So what I'm going to do is we're going to add some bass notes. And what bass notes does is that it adds more range, more frequencies, uh, more more, of, more, of, more frequencies to the melody, yeah? Because, like, from here, all, all we're adding is, like, you know, mid frequencies, yeah? By adding the bass note, we get to add lower, uh, lower frequencies and make the melody sound better, uh, essentially. So basically, I'm going to go C, then just G up here. Then I'm just going to press Command B. Let's hear I like how that sounds and now we're gonna add more top more top notes because as i just said what it does is that we've added lower frequencies we have mid frequencies here we've added lower frequencies now we're gonna try add top um higher frequencies i guess yeah so i'm gonna put d sharp then probably maybe maybe c here and then you know press command b And I know what you sound, I know what you're thinking, like, yo, Muzi Beats, like, you know, this doesn't sound that great, like, how can we make this sound better? And I'll show you how. <laughs> Basically, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, before I continue. Uh, and uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to go to the channel rack by clicking the channel rack button. And you know how this was blank, so I'm going to left click, drag it up, so it goes to the first insert. And now that, now, and now I'm going to click on the mixer button, which is right next to the channel rack button. And since we put it on the first, uh, on the first track, 
uh, when we play it, now you see it's coming into the in the mixer, it's coming onto the first track. It's not only just playing on the master. So now what we're gonna do is I'm thinking before we do anything, we're just we're gonna EQ the sound first of all. So we're gonna cut out some of the bass frequencies so that like you know later on if someone wants to add an 808, the it's not it's not interfering. And then we're gonna cut out some of the high end frequencies. Uh, just leave room for that hi hat for the hi hat and the snare to hit and uh, the symbol too. Um, so now that that's done, uh, we're gonna add a little bit of reverb because uh, the FO keys piano is a little bit dry. Uh, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna uh, put a low cut filter. I'm gonna low cut some of the sounds, bring the witness up, put stereo separation on just by a little bit, and put a little bit of delay and just increase the size. And then I'm just gonna bring this mix button down by a little bit. So that so that the melody is not done in too much reverb. And now what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna add ghost beat to it. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna uh, I click on ghost beat, I'm gonna go to presets, momentary, and then half speed. See, we have our melody now. Like uh, this is like a dark piano melody, uh, you know, something Southside would use, something Takey would use. And now what we're gonna do now is just gonna press Command Up or Control Up if you're using PC. And what that will do is it will bring it to a higher octave because I think that's too low of an octave win right now. And another thing we can do actually is we're gonna go back into the mixer. Uh, we're gonna pick go speed, and then um, we're gonna go to presets, go to flanging, and I learned this from can't believe I forgot this guy's name, but like I watch a lot of his tutorials, and uh, like after learning this trick, I've been using it a lot. Um, so you choose which you choose which watch two, and what this does is that it basically reverses some part of some parts of the melody and makes it sound better. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Perfect. And uh, if I play it again, you're going to hear that there's like a little bit of clicking. Like a little bit of clicking. I don't like that. And we can actually reduce that by clicking this arrow here, going to click reduction, and going to high, and we'll choose melodic. It doesn't completely take away, take it away, but then, you know, uh, basically what it does is that, you know, it takes uh, some of the clicking away and it makes the melody sound better. So um yeah this is the melodic beat um melodic beat this is this is a dark piano melody I thought I could show you how to make today um you know j this is just something you have to continue practicing every day like I'm not perfect at making melodies uh but like you know I've been practicing I've been trying to practice to get better at it too um you know you can like um basically copy the exact same thing it doesn't even matter anymore like just do you because like you know music there's such a thing called there's a thing called uh, Stealing like an artist, yeah, where you you like uh try like you know take certain melodies, notes and whatnot, uh like your favorite producer do it, or if you're a rapper, you try to rap like your favorite rapper and whatnot, or just take the flow. Where like it's okay just to do to be inspired by someone else basically. So as I said, I hope you found this useful. I'm just gonna play this for you guys one more time just to show you like you know you can also make this too. Yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And, you know, uh, it will be appreciated. Thank you.